Hey, hey, Gemma, it's Lish here, coming to you from the 412 uh, and we're gonna go over some of your leg day movements. After you complete core, uh, I would use, hmm, I would use what you would be comfortable with. So uh, I definitely would want you to have two hands available. And so you would use a set of dumbbells anywhere ranging between five to 15 pounds. And you're sitting on the edge of a seat. Let and make sure that your feet are open about hip width apart. And that means usually with a chair leg, you can kind of put that right there. Now, pulling that up. If you don't want to use a chair, that's okay. Just make sure you're dropping down into a seated position and you would come up, back down. One second. Boom. Now, here you go. Up, press. All one movement. Up, press. Up, press. And you've got plenty of those to do. <laughs> Next one. Next one, you do not necessarily need to have weight with you um, until you're comfortable with the movement. Some of these movements, though, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do just because you're great with bar. <clears throat> so for a clock lunge, if you wanted to use the weights, of course, you would just do a little bicep curl. <clears throat> so clock lunge, stepping forward, back knee drives the motion lunge stepping out to the side extended leg drives the motion lunge stepping backward back leg drives the motion lunge then switch it out to the back again to the side again and forward and really just have fun with it go around in a circle it's a clock oh girl you hear me cracking uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Nice. Always remember to keep your core engaged, okay? Keep it engaged. That means bracing down through the pelvic floor and using those bathroom muscles. So you're going to have a nice tight, you know what. <laughs> Last one, again, I would recommend use of the chair and it's an isometric hold. All that means is you're holding a weight or just your arms above your head the whole time. What you're gonna start out doing mm, we can go a little bit lower. There we go. What you're gonna start out doing is giving yourself a bevel. So your heel is up but your toes are down. Working into pistol squat. And then extend the leg. Up, down. Up, down. Up. Ah! Sometimes they look like that though. <laughs> so don't worry about perfect every time. It's that get off. Wow. And try not to be tempted to pull your ankle closer. Some people do that for some reason. You want that ankle and knee to be in alignment. Pistol squats are really good unilateral exercises. Unilateral exercises allow us to work our core more because it affects the stability. And it affecting the stability means that we have to engage more of our core in order to maintain that upright position without falling over. So that's my little trick. Enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions.